A seal slowly shed its skin and turned into a very beautiful girl, a scene that happened to be seen by the single Jack. He took advantage of the girl's beauty sleep and quietly came to her side, taking away the leopard skin next to her. Anna instinctively woke up suddenly, and after seeing Jack's face, she actually showed a smile. As Jack took possession of the leopard skin, Anna could only obediently get on the boat and return to the island where Jack lived. The sudden appearance of Anna made the island crowd very surprised, and soon after Anna was pregnant, she let Jack make a cradle boat. After the baby was born, they put the baby into the cradle boat. Along with the beautiful sound of the waves, the baby surprisingly slept very sweetly. Since then the two had several children, but this still cannot offset the woman's longing for the sea. She often came to the beach alone, looking at the sea seals, eager to also be able to swim like them. On this day, her youngest daughter found a leather jacket hidden on the roof, and the woman heard it and rushed to the house. Jack, who was ready to go home soon after, found a seal following her, and she looked at Jack with eyes full of reluctance and love. Jack had a bad feeling about what was going on and hurried to speed up to get back home. When he arrived home this was when he realized that his wife had left forever. Because as long as the leopard skin again, there is no power to make her leave the sea. With the development of the times, the inhabitants of the island moved to live in the city. But the careless man in the move, but forgot his son on the beach. Little boy was left on the beach, and when the tide rose, the cradle boat drifted with the waves to the sea and the boy's father found it and rushed over to rescue him, boosted by the sea wind, despite the man's desperate pursuit, but the cradle boat or drift further and further away. The man still did not choose to give up, but at this time, the weather changed suddenly, sea cannot catch up, the man had no choice but to give up. Since then the man became an alcoholic, can no longer take care of their daughter, so Heidi can only come alone, living in another island grandfather's home. Looking from here, she could see the island where she lived before. This night, Heidi accidentally found that island even had a fire, but there is no one living there. By the next morning, Heidi followed her grandfather out to sea to fish, and at her begging, they came to rest on the island of her hometown. After three years of erosion, this place has become a desolate. Heidi re-entered the family house, which has been in disrepair, leaving only fond memories of childhood. Heidi found beds made of seaweed in one room, and also found wood that had not been extinguished. Next to the table where more indicated that the place was inhabited, driven by curiosity, Heidi began to look around the island. After wandering around a large circle, but found a young boy without clothes, with a woman's intuition, Heidi concludes that he is her brother who disappeared a few years ago. The brother disappeared in the third year. Heidi finally found him, but I did not expect the other very timid. He ran all the way to the cradle boat. Heidi had no choice but to watch Jimmy slowly drift away. On the way back she told her grandfather about it, but he didn't believe it. The next morning, because of the fog, in order to be safe, Grandpa let Heidi stay at home. Heidi sat alone on the dock. She wanted to go to the island to look for Jimmy. Just then, a seal swam over and signaled for her to come down. Heidi came to the boat and under the seal's tug, they came to the island. After seeing smoke coming from the bush, Heidi chased after the clues and through the window, saw Jimmy eating with a seal. They were alert, and when Heidi chased them over, Jimmy had already run to the beach, and the slow-running seal deliberately knocked Heidi to the ground as he left. Waiting for the evening, grandfather rode over to take her away. After arriving home Heidi told his grandmother about the past two days, and was sure that it was Jimmy. Heard the news of the missing grandson, grandmother rushed to pack a package to return to the island. They are ready to stay here tonight. The sky suddenly rained. The grandmother began to worry about Jimmy's safety. Just then the sound of seals came from outside. They rushed outside and saw Jimmy washed up on the shore. Heidi and they rushed over. But Jimmy saw them, but was scared and ready to return to the sea. Just then, the seal rushed to the shore, forcing Jimmy backwards and forwards. And it turned out that the seal was letting Jimmy return to human society. Seeing this situation, the grandmother rushed to call Jimmy. And with the power of affection, Jimmy threw himself into the arms of his grandmother. At the end of the story, in the warm house, Heidi's family lives a happy and prosperous life.